Hi, welcome back to Coco Dance. Today I'm going to show you how to make a basic ganache. A ganache is what you'd find inside a truffle. It's a soft centre of a truffle. So normally it's some kind of fat and a chocolate. Today this is just the basic one. All I'm going to be using is cream, butter, glucose and chocolate. So in this bowl I have 250 grams of chocolate, 200 grams of milk chocolate, 50 grams of dark chocolate. In these bowls I have the rest of the ingredients. So in this big bowl here I have 50 grams of glucose which is a type of sugar. In this bowl 100 grams of some unsalted butter and finally this bowl 100 grams of whipping cream. So to the glucose, I'm going to add the butter, there you go, and then the whipping cream. So the next stage is dead easy, all I'm going to do is add this bowl to the microwave and boil it up. So as you can see, this mixture has come to the boil, so simply all I'm going to do now is just pour the mixture over the chocolate. Now it's important that the chocolate is in bits because obviously the smaller the chocolate bits are the easier it will melt in, into this mixture. Next stage, that simple, with a, a mixer I'm just going to mix it up, switch the electricity off. seconds all the chocolate drops melt into the cream and butter mixture and it all turns into a nice uh, uh, looking mixture. So next I'm going to stick this in the fridge for a few minutes and then bring it out again. So as you can see the ganache mix is still quite liquid. The idea is to uh, mix it so it turns more of a buttery concoction. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to mix it, pop it in the fridge for five minutes, bring it out, mix it and carry on doing that until it turns into more of a fluffier mixture. So there you go, it's turned into a nice buttery ganache. Basically over the course of the last half hour all I've done is bring it out, whip it, put it back in the fridge, done that about three or four times and then after a bit the ganache will start to go hard around the sides, it will temper and then I'll mix it all in and it turns into this lovely buttery ganache. So now if you wanted to, you could. Uh, it's still spreadable, you could add it to a couple of ramekins, make a nice um, mousse out of it, dress it up stick it in the fridge and bring it out in an hour's time. What I'm going to do, I'm going to let this go hard, bring it out and then in about half an hour I'll be able to roll it into nice balls what can then be coated into chocolate. So the ganache is now ready, it's hard enough to roll into balls, you don't want it too hard otherwise it would be a nightmare trying to roll them. So all you do, you just get a medium sized spoon, scrape the surface of the ganache and then with your hands just roll it into nice little balls. Later on I'll temper some chocolate or pre-crystallise it, I'll talk to you about that another day and then I can roll the ganache balls into the chocolate and make nice little truffles out of them. So thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.